Getting stronger each day Living life With winning ways Hope for the hurting Peace for the pain Fulfilling my purpose I'll never be the same Racing champions each day Winning ways Pressing on cause I've gotta break free Turn defeat into victory From darkness to light The end from the fight Winning And I'm striving to grow every day Live my life in the ultimate way Reaching higher is day Learn to walk in the way Raising the champions is day Winning The journey begins every great journey starts with a beginning make a decision to start yours today join pastor matthew ashimaloo for this dynamic series of teaching that gives you a passport to your divine destiny the journey begins today on winning way with pastor matthew ashimaloo i think you are delivering this parcel in the wrong address I'm too young for this. I can't do it. And God said, I know you are a child, but say not you are a child. For when you were in your mother's womb, I knew you. Praise God. God's foreknowledge makes him to be able to predetermine and write on the tablet of our destiny what he wants us to be. He gave you dreams. He shaped your life. He's ready to make your life happen. And it is the failure to follow the dream he has placed in your heart that frustrates your life. An impactful destiny is birthed out of defining moments. Your life is a journey. Many people wander through life unsure of their purpose, but you can create a better life. The journey must be defined by a vision you were ordained by god to be a fulfillment to somebody joy to someone a lifter of people's pain the journey is a life-changing series of messages that will challenge you to obtain god's best for your life everyone was created with destiny with purpose with vision with direction with a life that was meant to have a meaning define your destiny Define your moments. Define your journey. Get this series today. Call now, quoting the reference number on the screen. The Journey. Where you are, where you are going. And now, for today's message. Life's journey never ends, isn't it? So we continue in the series of The Journey. Open your Bibles to the book of Jeremiah, chapter 4, uh, chapter 1, verses 4 to 10. Jeremiah chapter 1 verses 4 to 10 as we continue our series of the journey. Jeremiah chapter 1 verses 4 to 10. If you have it open, somebody say amen. amen. Right, Jeremiah chapter 1 verses 4 to 10. The word of the Lord came to me saying, Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I set you apart. I appointed you as a prophet to the nations. Ah, oh, sovereign Lord, I said, I do not know how to speak. I am only a child. But the Lord said to me, do not say I'm only a child. You must go to everyone I send you to and say whatever I command you. Do not be afraid of them. For I am with you and will rescue you, declares the Lord. Then the Lord reached out his hand and touched my mouth and said to me, Now I have put my words in your mouth. See, today I appointed you over nations and kingdoms to uproot and tear down, to destroy and overthrow, to build and to plant. May God bless his word. I said, may God bless his word. This morning, I want to be sharing on the milestones of the journey. Milestones of destiny 
in the journey of life. Milestones of destiny in the journey of life. Milestones of destiny in the journey of life. How do you know if your destiny is being targeted? If you are moving in the direction of your purpose, your calling, your life, your destination. These are the milestones we want to share all through the services today. There are ten of them. We might not be able to cover all ten, probably five. But one thing is very clear. There are certain things that one can do to make, a li- to make life a success. You know, one of the things about life is sometimes we look back and say, if I had done A, B, C, and D, life would have been this way. If I had known X, Y, and Z, I probably wouldn't have made so and so mistake. I remember a couple preachers in the city. Matter of fact, when I was just new in England, I used to live in White Chapel. Uh, we all only used to have eve- morning service. I used to go to their evening service just to sit down at the back and listen. When I began to do the teaching, some finance on, the, on television, I met with this preacher and his wife, and he said, you know, the things we hear you teach on finance, on television, if we had known them when we were younger as a couple, we would have been better off, we would have been wiser, they didn't know that I also was learning it as I was teaching it. I wish I also knew it when I was younger. I would have been wiser. I would have been better. It is important that we have the appropriate information for the journey of life. Or else you might just find that you find yourself in the middle of the journey and you didn't know which way to turn. And life is like being on the ocean without a compass if you don't have clear direction if you ever travel on the sea at some point you have you lose sense of where the north west east and south is because in every direction you look the only thing you see is water but that's the reason why using the magnetic force of the earth those who pilot a ship will use a compass because a compass will always point to the north So once it points to the north, you know if you are going south, which way to turn? Is somebody hearing me? Have you noticed for some of us in our car, you see this little thing somewhere they are showing you are going east, you are going southeast, because that is a compass to say, in case you are going to East London and this thing is showing southeast, you need to be turning at some point. Praise God. Milestones of destiny in the journey of life your life is not an accident it was deliberately planned by God Jeremiah was a young man when one day he heard the voice of God saying to him I have called you I have a plan for your life Jeremiah reacted to God and said hey God I think you are delivering this parcel in the wrong address I'm too young for this I can't do it and God said I know you are a child but say not you are a child For when you were in your mother's womb, I knew you. Praise God. God's foreknowledge makes him to be able to predetermine and write on the tablet of our destiny what he wants us to be. That is what makes him God. He's able to predetermine what you will be. It's just like the manufacturer of this iPad. They already put inside it a predetermination of what it is able to do. There are things it cannot do because it wasn't written into it. But if it was written into it, only if you don't know what to manipulate, that's when it will not work. But if you know the right thing to do, it will work. Same thing with cars. You can have a car. Looking at the car, you can back at it, shout at it, but it will not move because you didn't know how to ignite it. Same thing with life. Many have a frustrated life Either because someone has helped to frustrate them or they are frustrating themselves. And they wonder and they say, why is life like this? This world is such a tough place. Things don't work. And many times we blame the wrong one. Many times if a life isn't working out, it is not God who did not let it work out. Because you see, God never plans junk. Amen? He never plans junk. He, he deliberately planned your life. And since he's not a God that planned.